have too much of, of a problem of that in Jacksonville, but I would definitely say that would be vandalism, not art at all. Um, I don't think, you know, if, if those contractors or whatever wanted you spraying on the wall, they'd have paid you to do it. They, you know, you don't have to do that. If it's something that's illegal, then of course you shouldn't be doing that. I love it. I love it. I, I'm very thankful that, again, some people are able to prove that they don't need live by rules and regulations. That they come up, I mean, I know it's seen as, well, it's quite illegal, you know. <laughs> you, you actually get fined and you sometimes get even put in prison, even in Denmark for it. But I believe that it's important that, you know, you have an area where you can speak your mind and that's one way of doing it. I just do it on the picture or the big painting, somebody writes in a book, I make clothes. It's important that you can speak your mind and that's one way of doing it. And I'm very thankful that that those kind of subcultures in society because we need that. Yes, it's art, but it's art done on somebody else's property, which is vandalism. I mean, if they could designate a place for it and they can exhibit it, you know, why not get a big piece of paper? Um, you don't have to spray it on somebody's wall, somebody, somebody who, who paid for this wall. I, I, I think it's, it's artful, but it's also vandalism, and, and it's just disrespect for each other's property. I think some, some of it is very artistic, but it's a place for everything, and, you know, in some places graffiti is, you know, not necessary. It, in some cases, it could be art, and in some cases, vandalism, depending on how you look at it. Graffiti I see out here, I, I saw a lot in Berlin actually, and uh, it looks it's artwork. I think it's artwork, uh, and I really don't have I don't see a problem with it. You know, as long as anybody don't spray it on my, on my house or anything, you know. <laughs> but uh, it's artwork, I think.